In a comprehensive plan of action, the Premier said all current laws will be applied to ensure cases involving GBV are run to their logical conclusion. She expressed her disappointment in cases of this nature being withdrawn, saying the finalization of such cases becomes difficult as the cooperation of witnesses is vital. The GBV unit in the police, she said, will be strengthened to ensure that it has the capacity to deal with GBV. The Namibian police will identify candidates to fill vacancies at the GBV protection unit, which number at 159 at this point, as a matter of agency. And it will train also the GBV investigators. There was a request to capacitate forensic investigators and experts. Here I would like to indicate that the recruitment and training of personnel in the areas of biological trace identification is prioritized starting this financial year. GBV units at police stations will be integrated in mainstream police activities and special GBV expertise will be provided to each case. We in government, in the executive, do share in the repugnation of the Namibian public at the situation of sexual and gender-based violence in our country. And we are in full agreement with the public that this situation cannot be allowed to continue. We assure the Namibian people, therefore, that these measures that we have announced and the ones that we have adopted would be implemented with expediency and full commitment. And we want to assure them also that these measures were formally adopted by Cabinet today. In addition, the Premier said education on sex and GBV prevention programs will be introduced in schools to equip educators with the appropriate skills, knowledge and attitudes. The commitment to the strict enforcement of the existing laws on rape and GBV follows a week of protest by youth in various towns. The current law provides for sentences for convicted offenders of up to 37 and a half years, which is equal to two-thirds of a life sentence. A convicted person uh, must serve at least 25 years uh, of such a sentence before being eligible for parole. We in the executive shall continue to work to ensure capacity building for efficient and effective investigations to support effective holding to account of perpetrators of these of, of crimes by the courts.